I'm exercising. Man, how did I put on so much weight? Man, how the hell can my turnip prices be negative? Oh yeah. But I mean, why am I not losing weight? My diet hasn't changed and I still work a physical job every single day. If anything, the stress brought on by the constant thought of impending doom thanks to this global pandemic or the fact that there's systemic racism built into the fabric of the country that I live in and it might not ever change, that's that super stressful as well. If anything, the year 2020 should have caused me to look like Jack fucking Skellington by now. But oh well, if the constant stress of this year hasn't caused me to shrivel up into nothingness yet, then maybe I need to take a different approach, you know? Maybe I need to try out a fitness video game. That's something that I can get into. Maybe I'll give Ring Fit Adventure a try. Yeah, that one's been really popular recently. Let's see if I can get a hold of that one. Ow, whoa! Oh, oh my god! Oh, everybody's been stuck at home playing video games for three months, so Ring Fit has been phenomenally popular and hard to find. Combining exercise and video games is a great way to feel like you're accomplishing something while also not dying of complete boredom while on state-mandated lockdown. So much so that it's been sold out for months. Well, how the hell am I supposed to lose weight now, Nintendo? This is all your fault anyway. The least you could do is help me get rid of it. No, not like that. That costs too much. Please, do I look like I own a Wii Balance board? <laughs> or a... or a feather duster? Oh my god, a bunny! This is Jump Rope Challenge, a free game where you make a cute bunny jump rope by swinging the Joy-Cons that Nintendo announced randomly on Twitter in the middle of the night on June 15th because apparently that's how Nintendo intends to relay all information to us from now on. Wake up, new Paper Mario. Wake up, Min Min. Wake up, cute bunny that wants you to feel the burn. Oh god, I feel it. Oh man, I feel it. It was programmed by a handful of Nintendo developers while they were stuck in their house because of the COVID stay-at-home order. They wanted to do something fun that could help them get some physical movement into their daily routines. Which is adorable, but also makes me feel even worse about myself. They programmed a whole damn jump rope app during quarantine. All I did in that same amount of time is hang some shelves to put my Disney princess figurines on because I was sick of my Disney princess figures just being tossed all over the damn room. So, what do you do in this game? Well, you... jump rope! Crunk, it's time! Okay! <sighs> you set a goal for yourself of how many jumps you wish to make every day, grab two Joy-Cons, and start jumping. The precision gyro controls built into the Joy-Cons means making the actual movements of jumping rope is how you get a score to count. It's pretty neat and a great way to use that feature for something other than Mario Party minigames. But that's really all there is to Jump Rope Challenge. You try to hit your goal every day and come back tomorrow. The idea is to do a little each day to get you into the rhythm of doing physical exercise. Okay. Okay, please. No more, please. No more. But that's it. You probably think I'm making a joke so I don't have to jump around or talk anymore, but I assure you, that is it. You just jump and then do it all again tomorrow. I mean, what else is there to really say? Uh, you can change the bunny's clothes. I like the jumpsuit from Animal Crossing. That's fun. Oh, and you can cheat by just wiggling the Joy-Cons about. Call me Eminem, because I'm about to be slim and shady. And that's all there is. The background changes every day after you reach your goal, which you can set for yourself if you're a sadist. It only goes up to 900, though, because Nintendo really doesn't want you to die while playing their game. There's even a huge warning about it on the game's eShop page, like, don't play if you have difficulty with physical activity. Like, damn, Nintendo. All I do is play Box Boy. You know that describes me. Who is this game for, then? But Jump Rope Challenge really is a cute little app. It's nothing that's gonna set the world on fire, but I think the fact that Nintendo can release something like this and still get people talking about it on Twitter is pretty cool. This is what separates Nintendo from all the other video game companies. Weird little things like this that they just randomly throw out there sometimes. Like, remember the stretchers? 
Of course you don't. Nobody remembers the stretchers. But still, I like it when Nintendo does stuff like that. So Jump Rope Challenge gets a thumbs up from me. I will probably never play it again, but I like that bunny. And also my daughter loves it. So, you know, that's that's good. All right, that's it. Time to get off my ass and show that bunny who's boss. I'm going to reach 1,000 jumps. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Man, exercise fucking sucks. Wow, we would you look at that a new video from me it has been a minute huh I knew I, I feel like I say that every single time but I just I, you know it's hard to work up the motivation when the world's crumbling around you and you still work a full-time job anyway um, wanted to give a quick shout out to my patreon supporters who have stuck with me the whole time despite the fact that I haven't uploaded a video since October uh, what cool people so shout outs to Zach Owens Leo Melanson, Alec McKinney, David Hurley, Christopher Will, and Ricky Bienick. I know most of those people. In fact, I'm pretty sure I know all of them, and they're all super cool, and I love them. I love them all. They're all good friends of mine. So, you know, thanks to that, if you liked this video, I would like you to give it a thumbs up, maybe comment on it, share it around to your friends, subscribe if you haven't, and let me know how you've enjoyed Jump Rope Challenge. I would love to know what your highest jump count is. If it's over 100, I don't want to hear it because fuck you. Just kidding. All right. Well, I will see you next time, hopefully soon, trying to turn this whole thing around. So see you next time.